empty. What it a red card? Fair bit to discuss about Bolton game. Come on, welcome Neil Lassie here from Tax TV. Uh, where do we start? New year, but not uh, a game that uh, set us off with oh, any conviction or all like that. Um, before we even get to the penalty incident and stuff. I think even when, when we had 11 men, I think one sign would be what they were trying to do. Um, attacking, playing ball. Kitchen, not long before this incident happened, he managed to get right side, uh, you know, their player and muscle him off and he was his light shoulder kind of thing. And then warning signs again. I thought it were a, a foul on Anderson uh, on build up before it went there, but then again, Anderson letting get goal side on him, and you knew what just when it would wait box something would happen. Uh, their player just stopped just like the previous game. He can slot blow anchors on back into Anderson, and he goes down. Uh, so looking at that. Yeah, it was a penalty. Looking at it, red card. No, I won't. No, I'm not taking this with red card. Not electric at law and stuff like that. I'll terminate, and then it's like this is where you get inconsistency through referees. But when you look at Liam Kitchen's positioning, you know what? Of their player in control at ball, questionable. What are you looking for? Penalty, questionable. And again, Kitchen's positioning. Look where Kitchen's position is about to run alongside him. Would it have been a goal scoring opportunity? In my opinion, no, because you know, Kitchen would be covering up. It wasn't as if we were like Kitchen were like 10 yards back and his one on one with Anderson. A fair shout, you know, it, it would be a red card because it's like last man in it. I looked over to, you know, Linesman to see what he were doing, see where he was. Because surely he could have had a word with uh, ref about the uh, kitchen positioning, but he didn't. Um, I think it was like a bit of a numb silence when Anderson got red card. I couldn't believe it. In a fair few rounds, I couldn't believe it as well. Um, and from then, it was going to always be an uphill ta uh, task. Obviously, his formation, his shape had to change. And... <laughs> For the remainder of the game, it, it didn't tell us, it didn't tell the game to be fair. Hope to get into half time, just one note down, and then we all know what happened with uh, playing out from back. Mistakes happened, you know, Collins to, you know, Kundi Kundi gets on it, and I don't know, it just, it's one of them, isn't it? It's one of them. I think he, Writing were on the wall, but it just weren't going to be. And to be fair, we weren't, we weren't in it. Um, and again, can you take some of that away from, you know, where the referee had handled it? A spoiling game. We knew it was going to be a big game against Bolton up there in Monstate and fair play to Bolton. Bringing over 3,000. Uh, good atmosphere. Well played to Bolton for making a journey and making it that. But then, come second half, it seemed to be more in it. Uh, surprised that we were no substitutions in the uh, start of second half, and if I'm honest. I thought it might have been. I thought, <coughs> excuse me, I thought things might have altered a bit, but it didn't. Keep it as it was. And there seemed to be a bit more an attacking threat. But then again, things that I was disappointed about were the free kicks and corners, especially corners, weren't really, again... Testing goalkeeper um, on corners, we're falling short, way short. So yeah, I'm not nitpicking any players or all like that. You, you know, we've gone a couple of months like now and beat them. Uh, so just send it down, lick his wounds, pick his hands up. But what we've got to take from this is that I thought that the player stuck, stuck to his task compared to the Wiccan game. That were completely different. 
Um, but this down to 10 men. I think it goes to show with the amount of players what are out injured as well. I'm not using it as an excuse, but when you look at bench, no disrespect, we've got such as like Phillips out. I know Benson came back and made a start, but you've got Edwards out as well. You know, H and he won't on bench as well. So there's, there's been a, quite a few players missing, but then it also highlights the, I suppose, key areas on players to come in and make an impact on on a side coming off a bench to try and shut things up. It didn't really work. It didn't really work. I know Benson came on. Um, he tried. Jallo came on. Again, there were no, no impact there. And then, obviously, they were doing all ours, all ours. And I think about 15, 17 of them. And then they ended up getting a goal. Their third in front of their fans. Just a, not a good start to New Year. But again, not to dwell on. I knew it wouldn't be a tough game. Fair few people messaged me saying, you know, if it's a draw, it'd be a decent draw against the Bolton side. Good following. And then we've got to tell we're going to be a good following as well. Move on to FA Cup. But before we get to that, we need to be like, making sure, you know, everything's reassessed and that with players. Anderson, obviously, straight red is going to be out for a fair few games. So that's going to be something else to look at. Another position we're going to be looking at. Who's going to be coming in via the Fed, is still out. Who's going to be dropping into that, you know, three at back. Is Duff going to stop to that three at back? Now, uh, Mads has gone out. So I've got a suspension. Touch with the one over injuries. Picked up during the game. Fixes coming up thick and fast and coming up with some... Uh, some of the bigger teams coming to Oakwell as well. So it's going to be a tester um, for fans, players, Duff. It's going to be a test for everybody. This going in um, the second half of the season, saying where we are at position. So it's going to be an interesting one. For me, my man at match, I'm going to say Luke Connell. Um, now we're getting a bit of stick from obviously Bolton fans and that, but Luca were trying again to get things going, and again he's got man at match, but it won't run his better man at matches if you know what I mean. It was like an average performance all the way around, but rested players down to men, but. I think Luke didn't shy away from how to were trying, even though he was taking corners and weren't working out. He was still putting his son there. Uh, was still putting his son about. Again, probably wanted to prove something <clears throat> to away fans. But it, the final, you know, final third ball weren't really cutting it for us. And Bolton had already sort of gained up at that. So, yeah, a bit of a disappointing one. Not much left to say about it, really. Um, it's a defeat. Another controversial refereeing decision. Some will say yes, some will say no. But looking at it, and I've re-watched it back, I watched it live, obviously, in Ponty End. And at the time, it looked a clumsy challenge. It looked a clumsy penalty. A red card, I didn't see that coming. I've re-watched it back three or four times. And... I had to change my mind about penalty, but as regards to the red card, I'm still sticking to that. That is not a red card. Uh, just with positioning, their player not being in control at ball, and Liam Kitchen covering, not a clear goal, scoring opportunity. Um, so for me, not a red card. Penalty, did Bolton deserve to win it? Yeah, I don't think we deserve to get out of it, to be fair. We didn't, you know, we didn't really test. Uh, if we'd come away with a draw, we'd have been extremely lucky. But again, not what, not for uh, commitment, but that, that, that won't lack in a certain in certain areas. But for me, Bolton deserved a win. Uh, deserved a win. They took it with scruff at neck, and obviously they've capitalised on um, the extra man and a fair play to him. 
Uh, they travel back. Um, we we'll win. We we'll move on, uh, not to dwell on it. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know your thoughts on comments below. Penalty or not, red card or not, and um, man at match. Who, who warranted it in your eyes? It's always all about opinions, and that's what uh, it's all about. Call it and say it as it is. Uh, thanks for watching. All being well, we'll get a bit better new year. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds.